Hey everybody, this is uh, William Smith with Kentucky Traditional Leather and Forge, and this is the intro video for the blacksmithing. Uh, this is my shop. It's uh, technically non-electric. We do have uh, lights for at night, and uh, we utilize coal forge or charcoal forge. What you'll be seeing in this video is uh, my apprentice, Kirk Gutenberger. Later on, he'll be... Uh, you know, trying out his first project. We shot that video uh, yesterday. And what we were making was uh, J-hooks. Um, I'll sit down and take a picture of the J-hook that I made that he followed, you know, along with. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. What he's uh, doing in the video is basically doing a follow-along. We've had, or we had a uh, day of learning how to make fires, you know, and basically work in the forge. Then the next day was a follow along, you know, to see, uh, you know, basically um, what his skills were on, uh, you know, if I show him how to do something and then him follow. The J hook that he makes, that's two days worth of practice at the most, uh, just a couple hours a day. So don't judge too critically on that. What we'll be showing in the uh, video series on the blacksmithing is basically me teaching. Kurt from beginning to finish of uh, Alex Beeler's book, The Art of Blacksmithing. He's going to do his apprenticeship, you know, following that book. And, uh, you know, just as I've learned how to do it from Jim Rich and just as uh, a few of my other apprentices have done, it's a very good book. Uh, he's an author who uh, wrote three different ones, The uh, Tools That Built America, and uh, I think it's a old woodworking techniques. Uh, all three of these books, you know, combined kind of uh, really help a blacksmith know, or a tool person know, yeah. you know, how to, uh, you know, work with the older items. What I would like for people to understand is uh, we've never really shot these videos before. I've uh, never really taught as a professional class, just an apprenticeship, you know, on blacksmithing. And, uh, Hopefully, we'll be adding blacksmithing to our classes. You know, learning right here in the shop. The uh, you know, I've got to where uh, you know all the tools needed. Uh, you can see hammer rack on your left, all the way to 25 pound trip hammer. On the right, uh, forge, my anvil, my uh, post vise, and uh, we'll definitely be introducing some other tools this week, uh, as far as like my traveler set. And uh, I'm not going to uh, let it out too much as far as what Kurt will be uh, working on. It's a surprise for him as well. And, uh, you know, we will definitely, definitely see what we can do. Uh, this video series actually will be, you know, working on uh, the older projects, nothing new. You know, as far as the, uh, you know, MIG welding or uh, working on Damascus or anything. This will be uh, the old time projects as if we're working with wrought iron. He'll be learning how to forge weld. Um, in fact, he's going to have some interesting projects on forge welding. Uh, he learned how to basically turn a uh, round rod into a square rod, uh, learning how to draw a pointing item, uh, make some curves, basically uh, do a 90 degree angle, and uh, did pretty good. Uh, without ever showing them how to twist, just doing a twist in um, the, uh, you know, the follow along, he uh, basically picked it up pretty fast. And uh, so throwing him a few curves into it will hopefully be part of the entertainment or, uh, you know, just seeing what he can handle. Um, he's not here while I'm shooting this part, so we'll see what his reactionary is. The... Uh, other parts that I'd like to say, um, you know, basically, you know, like us, subscribe, follow us here on YouTube, and uh, be sure to also check out our Facebook page, you know, which is also Kentucky Traditional Leather and Forge, and uh, cut right to a video. Thank you very much.